This is the continuation of our topic from our previous video on how to protect the entry form. So this is the one we discussed before. Again, I will make it visible. So if this checkbox is false, automatically we can edit entries and if we will click save automatically it will lock now in order to prevent editing from unauthorized user so we need to hide the checkbox so we need to add button to edit however we need to protect that button so we need if he will they will click the button edit button make sure that they know the password okay now we will start on how to unprotect entry with password protected button to edit okay so now we need to add a new table we'll go to create then table design and we'll put here sorry we'll put here password so this is our field name then we need to make it primary then save so we'll put table name admin password so we need to put this table so that in in any form or you can use these tables to protect all your forms that need for password protected okay now I will hit ok to save this table so now this is the password we will put our password later okay then next is we need to add here design then text box so we need to add text box for our password here so select this text box so this is unbound then go to other so we need to rename this text box anyone any name you want from this activity I will just put text admin so this is the name of our text box text admin you can put also text as you want then I will change the background then here Y okay then since we'll put this password if somebody will see the one you entry so they cannot see what the password if we will put the input mask so input password here so that if somebody will type they cannot see your password okay now we have So we need to put this down you can hide this text box anywhere then here just put here then we'll add button so just select this one go to home format printer then select so no need to change again so it's straightforward so we'll need caption 
edit then we need to change also the command button name so we'll rename C in D E dead. So this is the name of our button. Okay. Then now we need to select this edit button and go to event. Then on click. Then click this one. So this is our button C in D E dead. Okay. First, we need to use if statement. Then we use also the lean function. So, so, so this is the length of our password entry. So, if then we'll use this function lean with the length, then expression. So, to avoid any error, if in case it's a no entry or blank, so we need to put in Z function also. Then, value, me, then, me, text, text admin. So, Text admin, this is our text box. Then double quote. Then we'll close our lin expression and close also our ng. Then equal zero. Then we will execute here or we will sorry. sorry for that one then we need to put message box a is z box then please enter code which we need to input in our table then we'll use bb critical then try again so this is the title box for our message box then so if our text box equals zero or blank so this message will appear please enter your code then we will put me that tx text admin this one our text box sit focus so meaning if there's no entry automatically our cursor will go to our this one text box here focus then else now we need to use the the lookup function in order to look up the value of our password let's say we'll put here admin one two three so this is our password so we will make a lock up in order to look up this table and our password okay remember our password is admin one two three okay now we will use also the D lookup. Again, we'll use the F statement. If me that text admin 
that value so the value of the text box now equal so we need to look up the look up then open parenthesis then first is the field we need to put the double quote then the field is password then double quote so the domain meaning are table name so table name again we'll put double quote then admin password so this is name of our table then comma so the criteria is in our text box which is text admin so this is the name of our text box in between with the open and close bracket then equal then quote single quote then double quote then we will concatenate with the me that text admin that value which we import then and double quote then single quote then double quote then next is we will uncheck this checkbox so if the password is correct here in 3 4 from our text box admin then this text box I check box rather we will make me that prevent that edit equal false or it will uncheck then else me that txt text rather text admin equal blank then again we'll put message box again if wrong entry let's say if the type wrong code then again we'll use bb critical then take uh, message box title wrong code then we will close, close our f f statement then another n f and f then and f sorry and f and also here we close and f for from this one and and f for this left okay now we'll try again our password is admin 123 let's see we will click edit so please enter code let's say wrong then click edit wrong code so now we will type the correct so admin one two three so if i click this edit button if my password is correct it will uncheck our hidden checkbox 
then all of this one will unlock okay now i will click edit look automatically it will unlock if we click save it will lock if i click also okay so we need to if we click save this must be clear click save then we need to clear also me that equal blank to clear so if i click save so this one will clear if i click edit without password so please enter code so if i type wrong code also it will pop up please wrong code then we'll type the correct add mean one two three and click edit and now we can edit our entry and again we can after saving our entry automatically it will lag again so this is it thank you and get this